And for a young naturalist to go and live in a tin hut on a mountain and spend your days interacting with gorillas, who trusted you? At first, they were just curious because you're a new face. But gorillas understand the concept of a friend of a friend. So if you're with someone that they know, oh, OK, you know, they, they understand that affiliation. After a while, though, rather than just being a tolerated, perhaps slightly interesting observer, there comes a point where they seek out your company, particularly youngsters who are growing up and, and getting to learn the, the social ropes. And the, the tame human who comes and sits on the edge of the group is a part of their everyday life. So that was truly wonderful. But in, in that idyllic situation, the picture on the right shows the other side of that story, that there are traditional hunters who, since 1925, have been termed poachers. But they would say, well, we're just doing what our great-grandfather did before some foreign king who's never been here made this a national park. But it was illegal. And we saw ourselves, even though we had no authority to do so, as helpful to the law enforcement agents who at that time in the 70s were not enforcing the law. 